Hello, everyone. Watch out for that lightning fast holy attack. I'm Soulsborne Fanatic. Today, I'm talking about Radagon of the Golden Order. He is the epitome of a final boss. One of my favorites in the lore. Let me tell you why. You have fought long and hard. I have no doubt you will become Elden Lord. May you take the throne. You play the entire game, building up to this point. The very moment you step into the lands between, you are reminded of what you must do. Claim the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord. The road to this boss is a long one. The weaker will not making it past Margit, and only the truly determined will make it to the capital land now. When you finally make it to the gigantic wondrous city that leaves you in awe of the sheer scope, you finally approach the Ur Tree, learn that the thorns guard you from entry. And now, you got to burn the damn tree down. To do so, you must sacrifice your maiden, or become entangled in the Frenzy Flame, which, uh, why would you do that? While also needing to unbound the Rune to death. After the long journey, you finally come back to the Ur Tree, just to see Gideon blocking your way, which you definitely attacked him in dialogue, don't lie to me. Then find yourself fighting Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. Alas, I am returned. Who is running a pure strength build. And luckily for you, not doing a summon. More. This guy is even demigod. He's a human. He's human. Upon my name as Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. Just as you finally think it's over, you cross the fog and see Queen Marika held up by the Elden Ring, which is crumbling, and the following ensues. moment made the game for me, and left quite the impression. The fight starts off with Radagon turning around to face you head-on, and he's going full throttle. Depending on what move you take, it can go one of several ways. I've done magic attacks right at the beginning, Radagon can parry that, and then immediately swing his hammer and fuck you up. There's, a, there's also another method uh, where you could like get him stuck and like do the attacks right at the beginning, when he's turning around. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure they've patched that, though. His moveset is very well designed, and utilizes everything you've learned up to this moment. Radagon has lightning fast attacks, holy slash, late attacks, normal attacks, AoEs, late AoEs, grab attacks, even attacks just from moving. All of these different attacks can chain into each other. There's a lot of depth and variety to his moveset, which is what you'd expect from a final boss. The most singular important thing about a final slash endgame boss is for them to test you. You can do this in many different ways, but for what I want is for them to make you use everything you've learned up to this moment against them. Final exam, if you will, but in an enjoyable manner. Radagon does not disappoint. As I mentioned, delays are to be expected, and easier to adjust seeing how you spent the entire game going against this type of attack. Specifically speaking, specifically speaking Radagon's delayed AoE attack. 
where he does three holy slams into the ground, which the final one resembles the Elden Ring. But this attack can be rolled through, as you do, but another method you can use against him is jump. Perhaps you didn't know this, at first I didn't, but realize that you can just jump over that shit. I kinda get the timing down on rolling, and almost always get caught by that attack in particular. This isn't something new by any means, seeing how you can do this with the second boss you fight, Godric, with his ground slam attack as well. Many bosses' attacks can be dodged by jumping, you can usually do this. The previous boss you fought does this all the time, and it's a more viable method of evading his attacks, where he stops on the floor like his moveset being so varied is a contributing factor to the elegance of the boss design. The god killing flame does a ton of damage to Radagon, which of course should, he is a god after all, but knowing this can lead to implementing a strategy of pulling off this hard to pull off moves. It's not easy to get off a move like this. Seeing how long it takes to cast, as it's mostly incantations. Sometimes you can have it as weapon arts on your weapon, but the how fast Radagon attacks you can really use you can use summons to shift to aggro, which really makes it a whole lot easier. But I find it more enjoyable to do those attacks when he's staggered in a 1v1 fight. Radagon has something in common with Moog. Not the heinous criminal activity, I think, but his after trail attacks. Moog's blood flame leaves fire on the floor for a time and makes you have to find all your surroundings. The Radagon is no different, except it does proc bleed. His holy attacks can linger. As his fight he regresses, as his fight progresses, he can deal more dam more and more damage. He is a sort of a second phase of his regular ground slams, his hammer stomps, adding holy damage to it. Radagon has 120 poise and quite a few opportunities to get charged heavy attacks in. Also, he can be parried. Apparently his attack where he uses the hammer to put the holy wave on the floor can be parried as well. There's so much here, you can still have to fight another boss afterwards. Which isn't the same quality of Radagon. The game really should have ended with him in my opinion. Because there's some, there's some serious jank with Elden Beast. Elden Beast loves running away. Having Torn enabled would have made this boss so much less annoying. Than it needs to be. I don't see Radagon as a two-phase boss fight. Radagon sets himself apart so much that it's amazing, even with the unnecessary add-on. Kinda reminds me of German in a way. You fight him, then immediately fight Moon Presence. But then again, you can't fight German again. You have to fight Moon Presence at the game ends. It's interesting, but that's all for me. I wanted to talk about Radagon. He's one of my favorite bosses, and I hope we get more of him. Uh, hopefully fight his other half, Marika, in the DLC. The next boss I'll talk about will take some time as I truly memorize every little detail about their new set. See you next time.